Good evening and welcome to part 3 of 48 Black Wolves and yes it's another episode from Rarer Hot Wheels now before I go on when having a look at the cars I just must say that all the information I give you on these cars isn't locked up in my head I do have a couple of resources and one is a particularly good wikia which is uh, on the tinter web and uh, what I'll do is up here I will put the web address for it so if any of you want to find out about any of the Hot Wheels you've got check this resource out because it is very very good right with part 3 we're going to have a look at another 8 of the castings leaving another 24 to go after this 3 more parts but in part 3 we're going to have a look at these and as per the previous editions the information will come out when I stick it on the turntable so first up we have this one of the Goodyear blimps and uh, this is the only one I have and um, it's quite cool because you can turn that one way or the other oh and there's nothing there but if you turn it oh nothing ah there we go it seems to be a bit sticky I'll try to make it work there we go ah there we go have the Hot Wheels logo as well. So yeah, good year blimp. Please excuse the little dog barking. And uh, yep, she stopped, but she may continue in a minute because she is quite a mouthy little terrier. So in the meantime, I shall speak up a little bit. Well, initially this one was quite hard to date. Or at least I thought it was until I realized there were two versions, blimp and good year blimp this being the former. Being as this is grey, it was the Goodyear Blimp release, of which there were five variations between 1991 and 1997. And this one, I believe, is collector number 194 from 1991 or 1992. Poppy, be quiet! And we have this one here, a little three-wheeled thing. And let's see if it's got a name on it. And it's an XT3. In fact, I've got another one of these in a baggie, which I'll be showing you in a, another uh, program sometime in the future. And I think it's ever so slightly overexposed, but never mind. You'll get to see it all properly in a minute. XT3 is the first of Larry Wood castings for this show. And this casting, introduced in 1985, had a pretty good 15 year run. This particular one is a 1993 mainline. There was, in 1990, a purple version of this casting that was only sold in baggies and are apparently pretty rare, but more on that in a future video. Car number three for this show is a six-wheel 4x4 space thingamy with a radar dish on it. There we go, look at this. Six big chunky wheels. And a big radar dish on the top of it. There we go, as you can see. And I know it's a radar dish because it says radar there. And radar was my former profession in the Royal Air Force. Well, on reflection, a vehicle with six wheels isn't really a four x four, as I just said. It's a six wheel drive. And Larry Wood's Radar Ranger is exactly that. This one is from the introduction year of 1988 and it's in pretty much mint condition. Now we have this thing here, which kind of looks like I don't know what really, it's like a, a, a rail buggy thing and it appears to be being driven by something like a Cylon. For those of you who don't know what a Cylon is, you need to watch past Star Galactica. Cylon, more commonly known as a toaster. But it seems to have its grounds in some kind of fantasy vehicle. It's quite cool though, with its ultra hot wheels. Some more information will follow. The Mark Jones design pipe jammer had a pretty short run for Hot Wheels, only two years, and that ran from 1993 to 1995. 
There were only four variations released in that time, and this one is from his introduction year of 1993. Then we have this, which kind of looks like it looks like the I don't know, one of the Chevy Concept Stingray Three, was it? I think, but it's evidently not. It's got a little rear wing mounted on it. Again, running on ultra hot wheels, and all these cars are in lovely nick, lovely, lovely condition. Larry Wood's Flashfire ran for 13 years, from 1992 till 2005, and I still think it looks like one of the Chevy Concepts from the late 80s, early 90s. However, it isn't. This black variation was a mainline from 1992, and was collector number 140. Six is this, and I'm sure this bullet shaped thing with three wheels. I'm sure this is from Demolition Man. I'm not overly sure, but I've got a good guess it is from that movie. And uh, all will become clear a little bit later on. Does the lid open? I'll not try too hard because it might break it. No, it doesn't open. This little bullet shaped object did indeed come from the Demolition Man movie and it's called GM Lean Machine. The real car was developed by Frank Winchell in the early 80s as a concept for a General Motors brand and was featured in the 1993 movie Demolition Man. This one was a 1995 mainline. Then we have this. Hey, if I can get it out of the box, a bit of a tight fit. There we go. We have this sports prototype racer. Quite a cool machine. I think most of these are in the 1990s. But uh, again, it's a nice, nice bit of kit. Nice color, nice condition, and still no name. What was it about Mattel with a lot of the cars in the Blackwell days? Not many of them actually had what the model was written on the bottom. So uh, we'll have to do a bit of searching. Funnily enough, this casting is actually called GT Racer and it comes with a detachable rear spoiler and engine. This purple one is from the first year of its production and came in the Speed or even Speed Fleet series. And that was just the start of a 23 year production run. So someone must have liked it. And one of those was me. but not least for this show we have this a chrome angled thing reminds me of a stealth fighter and I have a feeling this is actually called Shadow Jet 2 but I can't be 100% sure of that one and that will be cleared up when I stick it on the turntable in a minute and this casting is indeed called Shadow Jet 2 and it was designed by Bruce Bauer and also it was designed on the F117 Stealth Fighter. This chrome example is collector number 246 and was made in 1994, the introduction year. And the only non chrome bit on this thing, apart from the canopy, is the tiny Hot Wheels logo on the back. Well, that's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check back soon to have a look at this next eight. Take care and see you soon. Thank you.